As humanity, we have been given a gift, a gift of the Word of God. What an honor it is for us to be able to sit down and hear the thoughts of the Maker. When I look at scripture, I see amazing things. Now, this book that we call scripture, dear friends, it was written by 40 different writers who stayed geographically in different and widespread areas in a period of 1,500 years. What an amazing book it is. When you look at today's journalism, you will notice that when people write a same story but different places, there will be many questions or there will be many differences. But when you go to the text, when you go to the word of God, you can see the coherence. You can see the way scripture articulates itself and gives us the gems from above. When you go to the Bible, the Bible says, chapter 3, verse 16 of the, first, of the second book of Timothy, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching or reproof for correction, for training in righteousness. In other words, I have heard people who say the Bible contains the word of God. No, the Bible is the word of God because all scripture in totality is inspired by God. In other words, God handed us over. God gave us a word through his writers or through his men servant. He breathed the Holy Spirit in them and they wrote as he spake. In other words, dear friends, we have a sure word from God, a word that has been given through inspiration that we can turn to. Is your marriage failing? Go back to the word of God. Are you trying to run a business? Go back to the word of God. Are you finding, trying to look for a wife? Go to the word of God. Are you stressed? Go to the word of God. Are you depressed? Are you going through illness? Go to the word of God. This is a book that has changed the kings. This is a book that has changed brothers and sisters who have been in prison. In other words, this is a book that has seen it all. They have tried to ban it, but it has survived the test of time. They have tried this and that on the Bible. They have tried to change it, but it still holds the, the, the true gems of God. I want to challenge you, dear friends, today. Go and read the word of God. In the beginning, God. It starts with God. It ends with God. It has God written all over it. In other words, the hand of God has been seen in it. In other words, dear friends, I want to bring you close to Christ through reading the word of God. If you want to know God, then read the word of God. Thank you.